Hello and welcome to New Parents in Training. So today I am trying to attempt to wash this Grico stroller. And this one has a baby infant seat attached to the car. So essentially what happened is this can be put it inside here like so. So it's easy to move in and out of the car, but it's just really dirty and I am trying to attempt to wash this whole set here. This is the base that goes into the car as well. As you can see, it's all kind of liquid and dirt and stuff in here. All right. So some of the items that you might need for this job to get done is, I'm gonna use the still vinegar, a cup of that, plus a cup of the baking soda, and just a little bit of the Dawn detergent. Uh, obviously, you need a brush of some sort. Magic eraser. This will come in handy to wipe down the frame, especially the plastic and the metal portion. And microfiber towels, if you have it. If not, regular towel should do. And a bucket to hold all the liquid. Now, this you may or may not need. Uh, WD-40 is really good in terms of lubricate the wheels and some of the uh, metal contact part and the plastic part so if you hear squeaking noise on your stroller you might consider to use some of the WD-40 on those joints to make it lubricate uh, you don't need to do it uh, it's just something that I hear from the stroller so I might apply some of it toward the end anyway uh, let me get start mixing some of the ingredients here whole cup of baking soda Cup of vinegar. And a little bit of detergent. All right, first off, let's remove all the fabric from the car seat. This should be the easier portion. If there's any loose particles, you can use vacuum to vacuum it up. But then, I mean, I'm going to wash it anyway, so I'm just going to dust it all. It's not too much of big particles in here. But as you can see, it's super dirty in here. So now, I need to remove this fabric as well. Uh, you might want to remove this. You don't have to wash this part. It's part of the canopy. Alright, so this is gonna be rinsed down a little bit. And this can put into wash. Alright, so when you are taking the fabric out, there is a little button here. That's where you're gonna push in to take out the uh, canopy from the top. And that's pretty much it. Everything else, uh, a little bit troublesome to get the seat belt out of the fabric. But uh, with some convincing, it will come off. Now, I'm having a hard time to actually get the seat belt out from the other side. So I'm just going to leave this in uh, as so. So I'm not going to take the seat belt out. I'm just going to wash inside here. Going to hose it down and wipe off any uh, dirt that I see. So that's for the car seat. All right, again, try to remove as much stuff as you can. This tray can be taken out. There's a tap underneath. You just peel it back. It should come right off. For the tray, you can wash this individually. Now, as far as for this fabric, there's a rivet out here. So I couldn't really take it off. Now, unfortunately, I cannot take the canopy out. It's attached to the body. I could remove this, but there's no point. Uh, the canopy can, will not come out. Now, as far as for the wheels, I took one of them out to show you. And there's a button on the side here that you can just push it in and the wheels will come off. 
you don't necessarily have to take it off I just wanted to give it a little bit more uh, detail wash now as far as for the rear uh, there's a cap on the wheel itself use a flat head to peel open the cap there's a pin in there once you release the pin like so this wheel will come off and the other side will come off easily so you don't have to deal with the other side alright so as far as for the rear where the brake is uh, you can take it off if you want there's a little hook here you just peel it back and it will uh, easily detach from the frame like so Yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, most of stuff is not that dirty to begin with. So I'm gonna set this aside and then let it dry. And after that, uh, if there's some touch up, I'll use the magic eraser. Time for the stroller. And I just need to start. Look at those dirty water. Alright, so after the initial rinse down, now I'm gonna use the detergent, well, the baking soda in vinegar detergent. Now that I'm done rinsing it down, washed it, and I just let it dry for a bit. Should be really easy to get dry because it's not there's not much of cushion here. Uh, this is the only part that has some cushion. The rest of the stuff is such such as this back rest. Uh, there was some deterioration here, so I can see that inside is actually uh, made out of hard plastic. So this is gonna dry up really quickly now things like this you weren't able to wash it off you can use the metro eraser see now it's off you can wipe it down with the towel car seat adapter it's not that dirty so I'm not going to wrinkle it down at all. Now time to clean up the wheels. You can try to soak it a little bit. And then just use brush, uh, start brushing it down. As you can see, it's quite dirty. Uh, well, I should get a smaller brush, but if you have a smaller one, this is a great time to brush it out and use it. I'm gonna hose it down first. I think there are a lot of loose particle here. And then start washing. Uh, just a little bit of uh, water, rinse it down. It already started looking really nice. And now use the detergent to brush the rest of the stuff off. You can try to take the individual wheels off, but I took this cap off and then it was riveted inside to this uh, joint here. So I'm not going to re-rivet or drill out the rivet that's already in. Uh, so I'm just going to keep it like this and wash it with all the parts attached. Alright, so here's a good case where you can see there are some coloring here at the on the stopper. So it's a good time to use the magic eraser. The color is already being wiped off. Alright, so everything has been washed. I almost forgot to rinse and wash the tray. As far as for washing the cloth, I strongly suggest you to put inside a mash bag and run it with cold water, with regular detergent, and not with bleach or other added stuff. After it's been washed, then set it aside to air dry. Do not put it in the dryer. 
Because it was really sunny outside, I start in the morning. By the time it's in the late afternoon, everything is bone dry. The only thing I need to do is to put everything back together. Now is the good time to check on the wheels. If your wheels have a little squeaking sound, then apply some of the WD-40 where the wheels and the joints are. So that way it will lubricate the area. And that's it. It's very simple, straightforward. It just takes some elbow grease and uh, some time to actually deep clean this. And But the result is speak for itself and everything look much cleaner and just much nicer. Anyway, if you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.